So we're going to take a look at, and I'm going to butcher this, um, Reveria, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, great uh, addition to the IGC party uh, lineup for the event this month. Um, it is uh, what I would call Zelda meets Earthbound, uh, but in a very, very good way. Um, it is a uh, action adventure. Um, well, yeah, uh, I would say action adventure RPG, but it's really not an RPG. It's more like just an action adventure game um, that I think the Vita really needed. Um, it is cross by between the Vita and the uh, PS4. Uh, the, v the gameplay captured here is the PS4 footage. Um, yeah, I think that it is a game that... I mean, it, it is the Zelda <laughs> that the Vita needed. Um, so, uh, I'm glad that it came out on the Vita. I'm happy to be, play be able to be playing on the Vita. Um, but I really just wish it was out sooner. Um, but, uh, it, um... It was done by uh, Rainbite, so big shout out to them for allowing them to, uh, for excuse, for allowing us to have this be part of the event. So uh, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and take a look at the game. Okay, so this is Reveri, being played on PS4. Uh, we we'll start a new game here. And we'll open with a story. And this is the story that your mom's telling you on the way to your grandparents' house. I'm going to go ahead and skip it here. So we get right into the gameplay. You're on a boat headed to your grandparents' house who live on an island. And that's the boat docking. Grab them each at the dock. Those should walk around me, people, and come back to the house. Now, in this gameplay, I just went ahead and did what I'm supposed to do because uh, I played this quite a bit on, on the Vita. I'm actually at the third dungeon, I believe. Um, but as you can see here, uh, the graphics look awesome. They're very cartoony. I love the graphics uh, of this game. Uh, Rainbite did a great job. Music is great as well. So, Grandpa tasks you to go to the uh, store and buy a lantern. Because that one broke. So, you go to your room, you grab the cricket bat, and that's going to be your weapon, your main weapon. And we're going to leave here, we're going to go to the store. We'll grab a lantern for Grandpa. Alright, so we bought the lantern for Grandpa. Now, instead of going and giving it to Grandpa, I inadvertently went into the basement here. 
uh, which is uh, <laughs> the first dungeon. And once you enter a dungeon, you have no choice but to uh, finish said dungeon. So you have rats or larger rodents here as uh, an enemy in the dungeon. You have bees. They're also in the dungeon. Uh, that's uh, pizza that restores your health. Keys you get to unlock, unlock doors. Uh, I know there's laundry all over the basement. There's block puzzles, there's switch puzzles, um, later throughout the dungeons. This just kind of introduces you to the, uh, the switches and the blocks here. And you do eventually get a map as well, I think here's where I'm going to get the map. Um, those darts that you pick up, that I just picked up there, that's for a dart gun that you will get later on. Uh, you don't get it yet. There's the map. It shows you the uh, shows you the rooms you've been in and the rooms you have yet to be in. It also shows you the uh, boss key and the um, where the boss is at. So, in addition to the gar dark gun I mentioned earlier, you also do get a snorkel that allows you to go uh, into water, allows you to dive as well. Uh, you also get a yo-yo used to stun enemies. Um, and those are things you will get later on in the game. So I came in here first to get the uh, to get the boss key. Because the boss is coming up here shortly. So you actually get it right through here. More darts. Yeah, so the enemies drop pizza, they drop darts, they drop money. And over time, the uh, items will fade, as you can see there. Here's a mid boss, it's a porcupine. Not too terribly difficult. Boss key that'll open up the boss door. So we're gonna backtrack to that switch puzzle. I just said to heck with it, I'm just gonna go straight to the to the boss here. It is a good idea to kill all the enemies so you can get uh, money and items you may need. That's the portal that will take you back to the beginning of the dungeon. If you need that, that's, that's, what, that, that's what that's for. Alright, so here's where you go up against Old Martha. A washing machine that throws... <laughs> that spits clothes at you. 
So one thing I do want to say about the washing machine is I think this is a really great... Uh, they did a great job of capturing uh, a, a young child's imagination. You know, they go into the basement uh, to grab a book or something for you know, a loved one, um, and they're looking at the basement as a big scary dungeon and the washer as the dungeon's uh, keeper or boss. So great, uh, really, really great job there. So we got the book, and when you get the book, um, you're met uh, by the spirit that was inhabiting the washer. It tells you to go after the other uh, spirits that are around the island. Okay, you actually woke up from uh, from your bed. Oh, it's interesting. Um, almost as if it was just a big dream. I thought that was a nice touch. So Grandpa tells you his favorite story about a kiwi. Back into the town because I want to show you um, the uh, the arcade here. Uh, you can you can get feathers uh, around the island. Uh, if you get all the feathers, you get a you do get a trophy. So it came straight to the uh, arcade game where if you beat the uh, kid standing there at the entrance to high score um, of I believe over five thousand, uh, you go ahead and get uh, you get his feather that he found. I love the addition of the uh, of the uh, shooter here. Um, really awesome job. This did take me a few tries to get, <laughs> but uh, but I eventually did I uh, did complete this to get the high score to get the feather. Um, there's other there's other excuse me there's other little games as well. Um, at one point. Uh, you enter a house and you can play air hockey against a microwave. <laughs> uh, first to five points wins. Uh, that's kind of a <laughs> kind of interesting little game. Um, although I did not show it here, um, it is in the game. And as you can probably guess, you beat the microwave, you get a, you get a feather. So there are hidden feathers um, on the island through, um, through winning mini games like this. Alright, so I beat the highest score. I'm gonna go ahead and just walk over and have me the feather. And 
And this is where I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the gameplay portion of this review. So that was a very uh, by Rainbite. Um, again, great addition to the IGC party uh, lineup of games. I'm really happy that uh, we were able to go ahead and get that for the event. Um, awesome action adventure game. Um, I really have nothing bad to say about it. Um, it, it I think it did a really great job of. Um, of uh, everything. I mean, the graphics are great. The uh, the story is awesome. Um, gameplay is great. Everything about it, um, I think, is really awesome. Um, so yeah, definitely does get the uh, indie gamer team seal of approval um, on that. So definitely great, uh, uh, great game. So uh, if you do like what you see, you want to go ahead and get a copy for yourself. Um, it uh, will be part of the event. If you can't get it as a part of the event. Um, the links will be below to go ahead and purchase it for yourself. So if you like what you see, you can get a code. Please uh, consider purchasing it. It's a great game. Uh, if you like Zelda, you like games like Earthbound, definitely worth picking up if you got a PS4 or a Vita. Um, so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time, take care and happy gaming.